might have pissed somebody off in that previous video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go for representing you in your best way on the internet. We'll need some more bracing, more frame. These are pieces from our kitchen when we moved into this house. The guy who owned it before us was in a wheelchair. His whole kitchen was on hydraulics. All the cabinets could be moved down to floor level by a, by a switch. Actually remembering it wasn't hydraulics but electrical linear actuators. You won't believe what I paid for this insignificant amount of steel tubing. Insane! I didn't either. It was too late when it was cut up and prices have skyrocketed on steel too. At least here in Norway. Luckily I've got the pieces from that old kitchen. Who's laughing now, huh, girlfriend? If you're like me, you need a web page, but there's just so little time between work and family and kids and hobbies and social obligations. Well, Squarespace got you covered. It's super fast and easy to get a beautiful web page up and running in no time. Squarespace features an endless list of cool features, a members area for secret clubs or other not so secret but exclusive things. Great for fans, family, VIP customers, friends, etc. Free or you can charge a fee. Another rhyme. If you're selling stuff, there's a bunch of features making that just so much easier. Squarespace automatically keeps your inventory and sales data in sync with your online store. Did I mention Did I mention they do domain names too? You know to keep everything at one place. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash two stroke stuffing. Save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace.
once again to get people on board i'm building a dyno for testing my concept engine this is the pip engine primus inter pares two intakes one valveless pure resonance brute force supercharged externally scavenged rotary exhaust valve 50cc concept nitro engine opposite of the resonance engine we have more coming i've already built an inertia dyno this will be an engine dyno with a load cell What you're looking at is a truck retarder, eddy current brake. These used to be common in trucks here in Norway. I'm not sure they are anymore. Might be they found some better solution. They're used as an auxiliary brake. Right now, Norway isn't exactly flat. These large trucks can benefit from some auxiliary braking to not cook their main brakes. There's a plate in the middle and there's eight electromagnets, coils, positioned on each side of that plate. And then there's two rotors. Energizing these coils will try to stop these rotors and that's how this works. I'm going to use this to brake my engines. You can decide which of the brake words I mean. Probably both. For more info about the eddy current brake and how it works, I highly suggest you go visit this guy. He's making some really awesome videos. And some really awesome do-it-yourself engine projects. Really cool. As this is from a truck, it's wired to take 24 volts and we want 196. That's what we're gonna do now, rewire all the coils in series. We're at the point that I especially enjoy now. That's the point where I know nothing about how this it's wired, and now I have to find out. It's an adventure. I love it. I've unhooked all the wires, removed all the jumpers, ready for wiring everything in series, but I've found two dead coils. I think the wrecker used a forklift to lift this out of the truck and damage the wires. Hopefully that forklift janked on them and I can find a break in there. I'll have to disassemble though. Adventure indeed. I can't get these to move. I need to go get an, uh, an Allen bit for my impact driver. EC is not worth anything.
new sprocket has arrived, bittersweet, and it fits my adapter too. Had it been for the broken coils, this would have been the last piece of the puzzle. We would have had it running now. Easy is not worth anything. See you next time.